an important part of a traffic impact study is looking at how the impacts from the development may be mitigated. So you have a new development that's coming in, there's going to be impacts on traffic, on the roadway network, and where are those impacts going to be mitigated and how will they be mitigated? So in this video, I'll show a couple of examples of the threshold for when mitigation is needed and then also some examples of actual TIAs or TIS where mitigation effects were needed and what those look like. So this is from a state. The goal here is to achieve the best intersection level of service, LOS, and when practical, strive to provide a level of service D or better on their corridors in the 2030 time horizon and the national highway system and mid level of service E or better on operations on non national highway system routes. They do also provide some specific mitigation measures that can be used to improve the level of service that can be additional or modifications to left and right turn lanes. That is a very common aspect of a development or a project to mitigate the effects. Additional through lanes, additional highway lanes, modifications to the access, and it could be alternative access. So instead of providing access on the main road, maybe providing access on a frontage road or a side street construction of a two-way left turn lane, expansion of an existing median or change in the traffic control. A very common one again is the addition of a traffic signal, roundabout or other type of traffic control. You could change the signal op operation, which includes rephasing or retiming an existing signal, redesigning or relocating bus stops, introducing grade separation. So that means one or more of the movements can flow freely because they're grade separated from the uh, existing network. You could have restrictions on turning movements. So an example of that is a right in and right out only access point and accommodating two stage left turn or crossing movements. Here's another example of mitigation requirements from a city. This is specified that they are needed for intersections that show a significant project impact and operate at level of service D or worse. Here's another state policy. This says that the applicant should be required to identify mitigation improvements to the roadway network if at least one of the following conditions exists. So a total average delay at the intersection or an individual approach to an intersection increases by 25% or, or greater while still maintaining that same level of service. So within those bands of the level of service, so within A, B, C, D, E, or F, you may stay within that same band, but you may have still changes in delay to the whole intersection or an individual approach while staying within that level of service. If the level of service degrades by at least one level, so that's going from example for a, from a C to a D, or if the level of service is an F. So those are all different conditions that may require mitigation improvements to the roadway network. So here's a specific example. So we've got our site shown here. And if we look at our legend here in red are the proposed improvements or mitigation effects. And so for this project is a relatively small, small project, 79 townhomes. We see it's a small network that is examined and no impacts or no mitigation effects are needed at the adjacent intersections. But for the intersection where you gain access to the site, the recommendation is to add a right turn lane and a left turn lane. And then of course, leaving the site, uh, we're gonna need left and right turns. It's a three leg intersection, so no through movement there. So really the impacts really focus on that driveway to the site. Here's another project This is a much larger project and they do specify explicitly what the impacts are here in words and also on a map they do show us the in particular in red again the recommended lineage and the changes that are happening at the site and so most of these again are at the site itself but on the adjacent network you can see a, a left turn lane added here and then another important thing to note uh, in a traffic impact study is what else may be happening on other roadway projects. So there's actually another project 
that's going to improve this other intersection. So it's important that we denote that and make sure we explain that the that within the study area, there may be other improvements from other projects. And finally, one more example, and this is one where there's no specific geometric improvements that were identified for this site. Relatively small site, a large existing development. And so putting in a fast food restaurant here leads to a finding that no other improvements are needed for this roadway network.